Well guys, after 8 seasons and almost 100 episodes, this is episode 99 and we have finally made Europe. But in the form of the Europa League in the third qualifying round, and we're not making it that far to be honest, only up the road to Scotland. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 1 of Season 9 of The Journeyman with Stoke City and today we have the first leg of our um, Europa League journey with Aberdeen. We're not going to show both legs, hopefully we'll be over the line or in the next episode we'll do uh, the return leg in Chelsea but I do want to take you through what has been a very busy summer. Um, obviously... We left last episode, we finished 7th in the Premier League, uh, which was enough for European football because Arsenal played Liverpool in the final of the FA Cup and they both already had European football. So uh, went to 7th in the, the Premier League, which was um, us, and we, we joined at the third qualifying stage and that meant we had £42 million to spend mm, and we may have spent pretty much all of it on one player. And you guys might be able to guess who it is already. Paul Glatzel. We've got him on loan for another year. Uh, <laughs> I tried so hard to extend his loan. Uh, but when when he went back, I didn't expect to, to have a chance. But he went straight back to the Liverpool under-23. So he put in a loan offer. And they wanted £24 million to loan him for the season. Which... You know, is is ridiculous, but it's Paul Glatzel. This is the man that scored 37 goals in 35 appearances. The amount of money he must have brought in last season, I think, was worth a sixth year on loan um, at a club that I've managed. And hopefully he'll push on from last year. And looking at pre-season, he's already had a ball, so he's looking pretty good. Um, but first sign of the summer was Reese Nelson from uh, Arsenal, 25 years old, English winger, a three-star current ability uh, and probably has a little bit of potential to improve. His stats are pretty good. Um, he's had five England caps. We brought him in for £10.5 which I don't think was too bad. He's never really been a regular at Arsenal in the last few years, but he's played well when he has played, so I'm quite confident about uh, signing him. We then signed uh, Marcus Astina, 29-year-old Argentinian. We brought him in from Lanús um, uh, for 2.2 million, I think it was, and he's already worth 18 million, three and a half star uh, current ability, and obviously n not much potential because he's 29. But uh, some decent stats. Certainly, mental stats are very good. He's quite a pacey striker. He's got okay finishing, he's alright at dribbling and things like that, he scored 19 goals in 31 appearances last season so I think he could be a decent player for us to be perfectly honest with you and I'm quite happy with that side and this is a signing that you've seen in the last episode, Mario Sergio I really hope he's good because I want to call him Super Mario um, he's 21 year old Brazilian some of his stats are disgusting, he's actually uh, a wonder kid, we brought him in for 9.75 million, he's already worth 28.5, he's 3.5 star current ability, could go up to 4.5 star potential, he's never had that special a career, but uh, hopefully we can bring the best out of him. We've also signed Harry Lewis from Bolton as a backup goalkeeper for 1.5 million, I think this is a, a decent sign and a very solid goalkeeper, he's been at Bolton the last couple of years, but uh, was at Southampton before that. Um, uh, and he did actually join Rotherham as well. He's been playing in the championship the last few years and has a fair few clean sheets in all fairness and I think he'll come in uh, if Delgadillo's out. You've already seen Paul Glatzel um, as a as a sign-in, but another striker that we've brought in on loan is Adelson Gomez. He's three-star current ability, four-star potential. He's got some okay stats. He's certainly got good finishing and a decent uh, amount of pace. So, like Glatzel, he could be a decent sign-in. He was at Augsburg in the Bundesliga last year, scoring 10 in 28. Nothing special, but um, maybe this is his year. This is uh, the last two signings. 
you know, a, a big sign. And Tony Cruz has come in. We are paying him a lot of wages, but he's still a world class midfielder. He's got some incredible stats uh, or attributes, if you want to call them them. Some incredible. Um, mentals and you know i think like jordan henderson last year he matured into such a good sign and uh he's not dropped below a seven in terms of average rating throughout his uh, career in the save and i think he will be a good signing for us and 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 just his experience around the dressing room will be good especially as we go into europe and uh Shikon Mustafi <laughs> uh, has come in from Arsenal on a free transfer. Thirteen million pound he's still worth, so he's a very good defender. He's been playing very consistently for them over the years. Again, another experienced head, somebody that's played at top four Premier League side for many years and has done very very well. And uh, I'm really excited about that one actually. Uh, on the outs, Marcelo Brozovic, who was out on loan last season, has gone for £10 million. I think that's a bit of a, a steal for us. We got uh, £1.7 last year from Valencia and then £10 million this year. Um, we're quite happy with that. He, he, he played nine games for us, didn't really perform, um, and, and he's gone for £10 million. We've also um, loaned out Mario Rizvanovic to uh, Celta Vigo. He just didn't want to stay, and you know, 17 appearances last season, only six starts. Uh, I can understand that he just doesn't really fit in how we want to play. Um, you know, he's a good player. He's gone out on loan, so I guess if he is really, really good, we can get him back next year. We've also uh, sold Kyle Nichols, 23-year-old striker. Did have some potential, but. You know, 13 and 36 in the championship isn't brilliant, and three the year before that. So he's gone to Derby County. Hopefully, he can reinvigorate himself and and and, and get back to um, the potential that that he that he once had. And this is one that I was reluctant to do, but Leonardo Ferrari has gone to uh, Newcastle, probably a victim of. Um, of having too much potential. He only played five games in the league for us last year, which is a bit harsh. Uh, he was out on loan the year before, but 4.6 million, you know, it, it's money for him at the end of the day. And I'm quite happy with that that transfer window. Obviously, Glatzel is a big, a big signing, but I think we needed him back. I thought without him, we were doomed. Um... And hopefully another year with Paul Gratzel means that we should be on for good things. Uh, Pre-season, we'll tell you about that. Uh, we won the first three games against Bucharest, uh, Munich and uh, Wigan. Uh, Paul Gratzel scoring in two of those games. Romeo de Carvalho also scoring as well, which is good to see. But then most recent, most recently we lost 1-0 to Hoffenheim, which isn't the best result, but hopefully... Um, it's not a sign of things to come. So, let's have a look at the team that we have gone for today. We've sort of culled our squad a little bit, and we couldn't name everybody in the, the Europa League squad, because obviously you need four players trained at Stoke, and we don't have any at the moment. So, yeah, we've just had to name a 21-man squad, and this is what we've come up with. So, Delgadillo... We'll start and go with Klein, Mustafi, Vima and Timon in defence. We've then got Cruz and Sergio in the middle. And then we have Neres and Nelson left and right of Ings and Glatzel up top. I was going to play um, Aston Abbey. He is a bit tired, as you can see. So we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm a bit nervous for this. My first European football match, perhaps in FM18. Although, no, I think with Tottenham... Um, in the beta, we played in the Champions League. Uh, I th did we get knocked out? We probably did. We did terribly with Tottenham, so we probably got knocked out of the Champions League. But um, anyway, come on, Stoke. Let's win our first game in Europe. I think it is a good achievement. We need to win three games, is it, or or two games to to get to the group stages, which. We you know, we're expected to reach the quarterfinal, so we've got to do that, basically. Here's Tony Cruz now. Here's to Mario Sergio. Mario Sergio on the ball to Klein now. Klein to Cruz. Cruz on the ball. Sergio to Neres. Neres. Ooh, that wasn't good. That's forward to Cummins. What a chance this is. Oh, and it's 1-0 Aberdeen. Oh, dear. Jason Cummins. 
the guy I had at Nottingham Forest, he is actually Scottish in real life. Um, Nottingham Forest in the stream save, that is just a typical um, goal for us to concede. How annoying. But 1-0 to Aberdeen. And, and well played. Well played, what can I say? Quarter of an hour gone, we're 1-0 down against Aberdeen. I think we have strengthened the squad. Uh, it's it's quite difficult because it was a good squad anyway, so it was very difficult to decide um, the type of players we wanted. Uh, but a lot of retirements, obviously. Here's Paul Glatzel. Oh, Paul Glatzel, Ings, and it's one all, not 1-0. And Paul Glatzel with his first assist of the season. That's fantastic to see. And we're 1-1. We've got the away goal, which could come, come in quite handy. Um, but we had to deal with the retirement of Shawcross, uh, Lewandowski and uh, Rodriguez. They all went um, in the summer and Schneidlin was also released. So we've lost, you know, seven or eight out of our squad. So that's going to have an impact, you would say. But I think we have recruited well. We've brought in experience again, which I think is important, but I think we've also brought in some new blood. Here's Glatzel, first goal of the season for Paul Glatzel, and that's absolutely brilliant. And I tell you what, you'll see some goals from him tomorrow in our 100 uh, episode special. I hope you can join us for that. It is going to be quite a long video, uh, maybe over 30 minutes, but hopefully you'll enjoy. Uh, it's my first ever sort of series that's got over to 100 so I really, really hope that you you do enjoy it and um, and that it's that it's of of a good quality because I have worked quite hard on it. So hopefully you will enjoy it. So that'll be out 4 p.m. tomorrow. Anyway, two one up at half time. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, he's stressed apparently. Why are you stressed, Tony? Calm down. Oh, he's confused. Oh no, <laughs> we've already annoyed Tony Cruz. Oh, it's a good. T oh, I thought that was a good title. It wasn't though. He has Kilty, Kilty on the ball now to Mason, Mason to Shenton, Cummins, Cummins. Oh, just wide. Come on, lads, let's get through in the uh, the Europa League. That is what we want. Timon's not having a good game, is he? And that's an area of the pitch where we don't have much cover to be honest with you uh, we're trying to sell Rydervald at the minute um, get some money for him before he inevitably retires at the end of the season here's Mason Mason on the ball here's Timon Cruz now to Sergio here's Timon Cruz now to Nelson Nelson on the ball Ings can he get forward to Glatzel? Sergio. Nelson. Nelson forward to Ings. Oh, what a what a shot that was. That was very close to being a fantastic goal there. But 2-1 up still. Uh, Neres hasn't had a good game, so we'll bring on Carvalho. Um, Timon can come off. Nissen can play there, actually. He's come back from his uh, ACL injury, and hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, Sterling's still injured, though. So that's that's going to be a problem early in this season. Oh, that's forward to Glatzel. What a ball that was. Glatzel, what a save. What a save. Um, but what a ball from this guy, Sergio, who really does look quite good, actually. I've been impressed with him in this game. And uh, hopefully he'll turn out to be a bit of a world beater in that midfield role. Um, and uh, hopefully Cruz can sort of mentor him into that um, anyway here's Ingram Ingram gets it forward towards McDonald now McDonald on the ball McDonald's still going into the middle oh it's off the post Cummins McDonald oh it's off the post it's away oh dear Aberdeen should have scored there we're going to go defensive actually Delgadillo gets it away here's Whelan now to Shenton to Mason now to McDonald Sergio now Mustafi Delgadillo gets it away. Here's McMahon now to Shenton. Shenton on the ball. It's McDonald. Klein gets it away and now towards Ings. Can we get a goal that will seal the tie? You would say Mustafi to Cruz. Cruz now to Klein. 
Klein gets it forward towards Ings, but he's not going to reach it. Ingram away. Here's Vimmer. Vimmer now to Carvalho. Come on. Carvalho to Sergio, to Ings. Chance, Ings. Glatzel gets his second, and Danny Ings with the assist. And Paul Glatzel, what a player he is. Just, just can't believe how good he is. Carvalho, nice pass to Sergio, who puts through Ings beautifully into the middle, and Glatzel, easy as you like. 3-1, sorry. Um, and two for Paul Glatzel in this game. Good save by Delgadillo there. And that is full time. 3-1. We've got two away goals. We won't show um, the second leg in the next episode. I don't think there's there's much point in that. But we will show the Chelsea game, I think, uh, to open the season. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really, really does mean a lot for me. It really does help out the channel as well. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.